Greetings and God bless you, families of our Early Childhood Center. God bless you for uh, entrusting your children to our care. Um, we love them very much, and we want to do everything we can to be a blessing for them and for you. Our mission at St. John is to connect our neighbors to true riches in Jesus. That's why we do what we do. We believe that Jesus has given us incredible riches, that those riches are things like eternal life that comes because of his forgiveness and because of his death and resurrection, uh, the, the blessing and the riches of scripture, which uh, ground us in a truth that uh, cannot be shaken, uh, the, the tremendous treasure of prayer and the opportunity that we have to pray for each other and to uh, really to pray for you, which we do, and your children as well. Um, the, the treasure of compassion, because God has incredible compassion. The interesting thing about that word, compassion, in the Greek, it's a kind of an interesting word. It sort of means like the churning of the guts. It's this powerful moving of just our innards in terms of anxious concern and delight and love and uh, 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 desire for the good of others. And that's a treasure that God has given us that we want to share. Uh, also the relationships that we have as brothers and sisters in Christ and uh, as people that are a part of the ministry here at St. John, we are just so thankful for those tremendous relationships that we have and the excellence that he has given us. Um, excellence that you can see, I think, if you look at our facility and the, the um, uh, the amount of effort and energy we give to maintaining that and providing a, a, an incredible space and place for your children um, and also the technology that's a part of that. But I hope you recognize also that our teachers and staff are a part of the excellence that uh, is really a part of St. John. These are gifts of God. And they're treasures that we want to share with you and your children as a part of our St. John Early Childhood Center. So we uh, have our verse this year as uh, Philippians uh, chapter 2, verse 4. Look out for one another's interests, not just for your own. And that's something that we want to take to heart, first of all. That we're not just looking out for our own interests, but we're looking out for your interests. We want the best for you and for your children. And we're going to do everything we possibly can to make sure that you receive the kind of uh, care and attention that you need, that your children are well cared for in a very safe way, and that they are also cared for spiritually, uh, that, that they learn about God's love in Jesus Christ and how precious that is and what a joy it is to know that he is one to whom we can turn and pray and know that he will hear us and answer our prayers. Uh, we do all of this because we believe God has done that for us. He's come to us. He has sought us out. He has been moved with compassion for us. He has this gift of eternal life that he's given us through his son, Jesus Christ. He has the a wonderful blessing of putting us in relationship with each other and with other people in the body of Christ. He has this gift of scripture, which is a, a solid foundation of truth that can never be shaken and uh, which we are delighted to be able to share. We want to do those things because God has done them for us and we believe that he wants to do that for you as well. So welcome to St. John Early Childhood Center. We pray that we can actually be a, a, a tool of God for the sake of your blessing and the blessing of many people especially your children. So you think about this and how God is caring for our needs and what we believe about God's goodness in the midst of this. And as I think about that, I have to go, but what about COVID and all the dangers that that brings about? The reality is that I, I believe that God is allowing this to happen, perhaps to help us to recognize that we have a need that is greater than some sort of normalcy. Uh, a need that is greater than just uh, life as usual. And that need is for God himself and for his love and for his grace. And if we are shaken a little bit through this, and if we are then uh, moved to turn to him, which is always his desire, that we would come toward him instead of turning away from him, that we would yearn for his goodness rather than be frustrated and angry about what we're not having and, and um, the difficulties that we're facing, uh, that we would find uh, hope and comfort in him rather than retreating into bad habits and uh, locking ourselves in our own world of um, uh, really isolation and um, 
maybe some very bad habits, that God would want us to come to him. And this is uh, an invitation that he has for us during these very difficult times. Uh, this is a result of the fact we live in a fallen world, that we are not yet in heaven, that even though God loves us and he cares for us, there's still a battle raging and there is an enemy out there. And that enemy is Satan and he wants to steal and kill and destroy. And we're seeing that happen in front of our very eyes. But take heart, do not lose hope because the battle has been won, the war has been won, the battles are still raging, but the war has been won when Jesus died and when he rose from the dead and he promises eternal life. And the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is available to us as well. So I want you to be encouraged and hopeful in the face of the challenges we face and to recognize that his gifts and his calling are much more important than even a, a return to normalcy. Now, I look forward to some sense of normalcy happening very soon. I'm praying that there will be a treatment made and a vaccine that is found and all those kinds of things that are so important for this terrible, terrible virus. But I want you to know that in the meantime, it is our privilege to serve you and your children, that we consider it a sacred trust that you have given them to our care. And that we want to also recognize that uh, it is our privilege um, to connect you and your children to the true riches that Jesus has of his grace and his love, his truth, his mercy, his kindness, the promise of answered prayers, his presence in our lives. And that we would recognize as a greater privilege than just having you send your children to our early childhood center, that you would also recognize that it is our greater privilege to connect them and yourself to Jesus' love and his, his riches. But the greatest privilege we would have is if your children and you would recognize that this is your calling as well, that, that you have a purpose, and that your purpose is not just to make sure that your kids are well cared for. Uh, that's an important thing, isn't it? But also to recognize that it is uh, also an incredible uh, privilege and responsibility that we have to help our children recognize their place in the, in the work of God and in the mission of God, that they are participants in that mission, that they can encourage you and maybe some of your family members and one another. And you know, once in a while, they encourage our teachers and our staff and, and us, and we're so thankful for that. That's our greatest privilege to see God at work in them and through them in the lives of others. So God bless you. We pray that this is a good year and um, look forward to tremendous things happening through the ministry of our Early Childhood Center and your participation in it. God bless.